Hey guys, today we're going to be watercoloring some bookmarks. Um, in the end, I'm also going to show you a couple that I made last year that I'm actually going to be restoring, but we'll get into that later. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. These are the bookmarks that I'm going to be painting today. They're actually gifts for a couple of my friends who had birthdays in August. I also have to remember to list um, my materials in the description for you guys. I don't know why I'm really bad at remembering to do that, but in case I don't, obviously I am using the Kuretake watercolor uh, pan set here for my watercolors. So I already sketched out a little design on the front and on the back. The back is going to be a cute little bookshelf where you can like write in the titles of the books you've read or the books you're going to read. And then I just have a little design on the front of it. I also obviously punched a hole through uh, the bookmarks. Um, I had planned to put a ribbon or some thread through it, but I never found anything that was nice. So I kind of just left it up to them if they wanted to utilize it or not. So my brushes are by a brand called Black Velvet. This is a script brush. I also have a round in the size two, but I'm gonna be using the script brush more than the round. The one thing I can't mention in the description is the paper. I'm sorry. I know the brand is Fabriano, but this paper is actually really, really old and I don't have a link for it. I don't know if it's even still being made. I got it from a professor who bought it back in like 1988. At least that's the date that was on the receipt in the bag of watercolor paper that I received from this professor. If I had to guess, it's probably like 300 pound cold press paper by Fabriano. I don't know, um, but it's really nice and I'm sad that I'm running out of it and don't know exactly what it is. So like I mentioned before, these are actually going to be gifts for a couple of my friends and I decided to personalize each one just a little bit. So my friend uh, has a cat named Precious, so I decided to add her little cat to the design. I think it's funny that her cat's name is actually referencing the Lord of the Rings. The ring is Gollum's Precious and her cat is her Precious, so I think that's really funny. All right, we are all done with this bookmark. Uh, we still have to do the back and I am gonna be adding gold in the end, but for now, we're just gonna go ahead and move on to the second bookmark. So this one, I knew the color palette I wanted to use for this bookmark, but it took me a little longer to kind of get what I should personalize it with. And originally I was going to do her dog because I did my other friend's cat, um, but the silhouette wasn't working so I ended up having to go a different route. And I know she really loves Sailor Moon. I had already added some stars in the design that I was going to paint in gold, so it just made sense to have a moon. And then after that I drew in Luna, the cat from Sailor Moon. Okay, so for some reason when I was filming this, my head wasn't all there and I completely forgot to actually film 
the shots of the final products and I ended up giving the bookmarks to my friends <laughs> and not having that footage. So I ended up texting them and they sent me pictures of the final so you'll get to see them. But yeah, I also noticed in one of the pictures that they sent me that I didn't draw in Luna's a moon mark on her forehead. So um, sorry Sailor Moon fans if I disappointed you <laughs> by not adding that detail. Oh well. I don't know where my brain was, but it definitely was not thinking about filming or about any crucial details. So, <laughs> oh well. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add in the gold and I'm gonna be using this uh, gold ink. It's acrylic ink by the brand Amsterdam. I was gonna use gold leaf at some point, but I decided against it because of all the fine details and it's just a lot harder to do that with gold leaf. So last year I hand painted these two bookmarks here um, and if you want to go check them out they're on my Instagram and what happened was I ended up using a adhesive that wasn't really an adhesive. I used this which is actually a watercolor masking fluid. The reason I chose this instead of an actual adhesive was because of the um, applicator. I thought I could get some really fine details um, with the gold leaf but it actually backfired because this didn't dry very well. It did dry, like it was very hard, um, but it also retained its stickiness and the gold leaf just didn't want to stick and it ended up all over my book pages. So I couldn't use these bookmarks for the longest time, but today we're going to be scraping it all off and applying some gold ink instead. So here I am uh, scraping off all the nastiness um, using a ruler and an X-Acto knife. After lots and lots of scraping, I eventually got everything off of both bookmarks. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go in and touch up around the edges a bit where there was some staining. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Maybe shouldn't have put so much paint on my brush, but oh well. And I'm just trying to kind of get rid of a lot of this weird color that was left by the glue. It's kind of a weird dark stain. I'm going to paint over with gold anyway, but just wanted to clean it up a little bit and make it blend. And the gouache is a little darker, so I'm trying to be careful to match the color. I did have to dilute some of the layers a little bit after I put down the color because gouache is just so much more opaque than the watercolor I was using. So yeah, you can see there, it's, there's Winnie saying hi. But yeah, you can see where I put the gouache, it stained it a lot darker. So I just went ahead and added a little more water to blend it all together. And now let's go ahead and add some gold details and wrap up this project. So here are the final bookmarks. Um, as you can see, it's not as shiny as the gold leaf version was. Uh, you kind of need to direct it towards the light to kind of see the shine, but 
either way they're better because I can finally use them in my books now that they don't have that sticky gunky stuff to them. I also painted the backs gold, um, this side is just all gold. Uh, but yeah, that is the end of this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me do this little craft. Um, the next few videos are going to be all about um, prepping for Inktober. So if you guys want to join me on that journey, please consider subscribing. Also, I have my Etsy shop linked in the description if any of you guys are interested in buying stickers or some fun prints. I appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!